Right, hello. Right, another tutorial video on the guards panel in this video, guys. As I say, if you're wondering why I've got Train Simulator for three, four, sorry, on the 21st of September 2020, sorry, 2023, is because I've got early access, guys, because I'm on the deluxe edition. Now, see, if you've got the deluxe edition or the special edition, you can get access to it today. If you've pre-ordered the standard edition, guys, you'll be able to get access to it on the 26th of September. And if you want to know, guys, when all your DLCs and everything from Train Sim 1 and 3 are going to port over to Train Sim 1 4, that'll be on the 26th of September, guys. So you have to re download all the DLCs on Train Sim 1 4, which, if you own every single DLC, guys, might take you a while. So if you're on console, guys, I'll probably require you, if once it becomes available, is play Train Sim 1 4 on the 26th of September. And then throughout the, when you go to bed on the 26th of September, between the 26th of September and the 27th of September, download your DLCs in between that gap because that's basically what I'm going to be doing. But yeah, your DLCs on the 26th, guys, will become available at 1500 hours UTC. So if you're in the UK, guys, that is 4 pm GMT. And if you're in Europe, that'll be 5 pm. And then work out your times from there. But yeah, I'll put my social links down below, guys. I'll put a link to this game down below as well. I'll say this game, guys, is available on Xbox One, Xbox Series X, and PlayStation 4, PlayStation 5, and Steam as well. I say I have done a first look on this video as well, guys. So feel free to head over to my YouTube channel and have a look at that. I've also done a how to put the pantograph up and down on the Class 801. I've also done a video on how to do free roam in free roam mode and timetable mode as well. So I had to put a loco in there. So, as I say, I'm going <coughs> to try to do the guard mode. I might have to remake this video again at some point down the road, guys, because they might have changed something or altered something. So, yeah, let's say, just take this video, guys, on the guard panel with a pinch of salt, really. I say some things might work, some things might not work. But if things have worked for you guys, feel free to put it in the comments down below and let me know if the guard panel has worked for you. If it hasn't, okay, fair enough. So what we're going to do is go over here to the guard panel. So what we want to do is press that button, open the guard panel. Then what we want to do, guys, is come down here, press the door key. So you put the door key in. The door you stood at, guys, it can be at the front of the train or at the back of the train. Uh, you press the yellow button to open the local door, which is like this. And then what you want to do is, once you've checked, go back into the guard panel, hold the door open buttons, guys. Hold them, because sometimes they do work. Wait till you hear a little noise in the background. Come out of the guard panel, have a look. Oh look, my doors are open. And yes, guys, I have tried going to different guard panels on the train to see if it works and, um, and all that, but I seem to be having problems. So, <clears throat> what we're going to try to do here, guys, is try to close... So we're going to go to close the interlock doors. So I'll hold that, see if it closes the interlock doors. So I'll just hold that for about 5-10 seconds. Guess what? it hasn't closed the doors. So if we go to try again, let's try, so hold that for like 10 seconds. Guess what? Still nothing. Even if guys I press and hold to close the local door. So if I press on the local door button here, Hold that for about 5-10 seconds. Nope, the local door isn't closing either. Plus, let's say the signal button, for some reason, doesn't work. Don't know why. But yeah, what I've decided, what I've found a way around, guys, is closing this, uh, closing this, no, not that door. Uh, yes, yeah, so not that. 
Sorry, just bear with me a second. So stand at the guard station. Okay, take the key out. That would probably help. And then close the guard panel door. And then what I've managed to suss out, guys, is if you literally just run to the cab door, like run to the cab, come over here, press the interlock door close in the cab, it'll close the doors for you. But yeah, that's the problem I've been seeming to have, guys. I've gone to every single guard panel in the whole train. I've tried to see if I can open them and close, well, close the doors. For some reason, it hasn't seemed to have worked. So I've had to run to the cab and close the doors. But, as I say, if there's a fix or anything like that, I will redo this video, guys, so you can see the guard panel working properly. But I thought I'd just give you a quick tutorial on how to do it for now. And, as I say, hopefully there is a fix soon for it, hopefully. But, yeah, like I say, there we go, guys. As I say, I've got a first set of video of Train Simulator 4 on my, video, on my uh, YouTube. I've got a how to put the pantograph up and down and how to switch over to diesel mode on my YouTube. I've also got a video on how to put a loco in free roam and on turntable mode as well. And then as I say we've got this video, the guard panel as well. But yeah, like I say guys, if you want as I say you will get all your DLCs from Train Sim World 3 to Train Sim World 4 on the 26th of September 2023. I say my best words guys, if you own every single DLC for Train Sim World 3 and you want to put them out to train Sim World 4, I would say download all your DLCs overnight between the 26th and the 27th, because they'll be installed by the 27th. And then when you jump onto train Sim World 4 on the 27th, you'll be able to play them. And so, yeah. And as I say, this route as well that we're on, guys, this route will actually have um, more trains and all that as well. So there we go. But yeah, this, say, this game, guys, officially comes out on the 26th of September. I say, I'm on the Deluxe Edition. That's why I've got early access to it. So that's why I'm reviewing it on the 21st of September. Circuit television and remote video monitoring is in use at this station for your personal safety and security. Sorry, I just thought I'd let her talk there. But yeah, I say, guys, I'll put my socials down below. I'll put a link to this game down below as well. I say, uh, this game is available on Xbox One, Xbox Series X, NES, PlayStation 4, PlayStation 5, and Steam as well. In my first look video, guys, I do go through all the prices and all that, so feel free to head over there and have a look at that. But yeah, I say, I will be back with more Train Sim World 4 next week, guys, because uh, I've got a couple of streams to two other games I'm going to be doing uh, Friday night and Saturday night. But yeah, there you go guys, that is everything from me. Enjoy the rest of your day guys, stay safe and stay happy. And I'll catch you in the next one.